Hey, what's up guys? Jake2 here and welcome back to another Nikkei video. Wow. So today we're gonna be taking on this solo raid and uh, it's the Whitesmith. Yeah. Hello there. <laughs> so I'm very excited for this one because again, as mentioned on my previous videos, we get to be able to try out A2 and 2B. I'm very excited right now because A2 is like way invested right now compared to like the last time with the previous video where I ran her at 441. Right now she is 776 with three overloaded gears. 2B is 776 with two overloaded gears with the helm plus five overloaded by the way. So I'm very excited because yeah, they, they are very like very strong on this raid. Also with this solar raid video, we'll be making a bit of changes instead of actually going from my main team, which is like team one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go with team five first because you know, that's the scuff, right? Like team five is like the team that's hard to build because you basically use all your DPS, like the good ones already. So we're gonna go team five, four, three two and one now with team five team five is very interesting because i have a tech that i can show you guys which actually work and i didn't even need any healers i'm so excited and with all of that out of the way please for me hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell on so you don't miss any nikkei videos or nikkei guides that i create also it only takes one click and it's free it's free, so help me out. My goal right now is to reach 2,000 subscribers, so please help me out. Thank you, I appreciate it. And with all of that out of the way, let us begin. All right, team five. So key characters here is Noah and Biscuit. So the tech right here is to make Noah basically immortal or invincible. Another key character here is volume for the cooldown reduction because as I always say, every solar raid or union raid, cooldown is king. So you need at least one cooldown per team. And volume is our cooldown in this one. Now the other two characters, it's whatever, right? So I don't have any other DPS that I can choose. So our fire code for this one is Yulha and the other DPS is Laplace. So let's get right into it. All right, White Smith. So here's the strategy. So right here, I'm just gonna go burst with volume and then wait. So we're gonna wait for the volley to come off because that's the time where the rifles were, will fire at you, right? So I'm gonna use Noah burst right here, become invulnerable and destroy the projectiles. And right here, we, we're just gonna go full auto because it's Biscuit who's gonna use the burst right here. But we will be timing it and we will take cover using Noah. So as you can see, we lost our cover, right? So right here, we will see a QTE and we are still on burst. So 100%, he will stun Noah because of the taunt. So we're just gonna destroy the QTE. We're waiting for our burst. We're just gonna use our burst with volume right here. Destroy the QTE and right after destroying it, use Noah's burst right away for invulnerability because he will fire right away. Now he will do this three times and will always attack Noah because of the taunt every time you use our burst. But that's fine because we have Biscuit for invulnerability. So after doing that three times, he will use the shield. Now we just have to destroy it with our fire code unit, which is Yulha. And right now the tech is to just use burst every single time. Like we don't need to time anything here. Just use it every single time. Also, tech here is to destroy one of the cannons right away so we can tank right because every time he finishes doing this like firing these balls right here he will fire it right away also our job here is to just take cover we're gonna tank it by using cover okay so we're gonna use noah's cover as you can see every time it gets destroyed biscuit rebuilds it so right now noah's shield is back we're just gonna time it in and we're gonna take cover right about here bop 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 and there you go we no longer have cover but then again biscuit will rebuild it on the next rotation so this is immortal noah come in a nutshell basically so this is how you make noah immortal because with only one rifle surviving it's not enough like it doesn't have enough damage to kill noah it's just enough to just destroy the cover also that could happen like you see there we no longer have shield before he fired because <laughs> because the black balls basically destroyed it but that's fine because 
we can destroy the rifle right about here and once we manage to destroy that we chill because what is this thing gonna do bro it doesn't have damage anymore can't do anything anymore like you don't have to be worried about anything anymore like remember these black balls these black orbs can only destroy like the covers and that's it now we just have to destroy the projectiles we're chilling basically once we destroy like the rifles we're good like he can't do anything like that's it we're done we're done with this one and there we go 260 million on a team that doesn't have any equipment upgrades with no healers too like hot dang so again the shell is noah biscuit and volume volume is for the cdr because cdr is king and yeah just pick the other two characters that you want one of them should be a fire code unit and you're good to go so that's it for our strategy for team five now let's go to team four all right team four so these are their equipment spas if you have to again uh for this one uh, not gonna lie i don't like this team because this team right here is not optimal the reason i said that is because one of them is gonna go down and if you guess ludmila then yes you're right ludmila is gonna go down right here so let's get right into it so you can see how it works <laughs> i just don't like this team i don't like it man but i don't have a choice what can i do i like the characters bro <laughs> I don't have enough characters anyway let's get right into it all right so team number four so strategy here is we're just gonna full burst right away we will also always use asmeri's burst to increase our hp which in turn makes ludmilla tank a bit better also with the heals so like just like that and now as you can see the damage to the hit parts is not so good on this one I'd say the best, especially when not invested on the solar raid or rocket launchers, but we lack the characters, bro. <laughs> so that's fine. So right here, we're just gonna wait for Asmeri. So we will always use Asmeri's burst, time Horan's burst to destroy the projectiles. And we're just gonna continue firing on the rifle R. So right now, he will stun one of our Nikkei's and 100% it's gonna be Ludmilla because every time we use our burst, Ludmilla always activates her taunt. So that's fine, we're just gonna use Asmeri's burst to heal Ludmilla. And yeah, Ludmilla has resistance, right? Every time she uses her burst, but it doesn't matter here because her skill level is too low anyway, so she won't survive. Like, I really hate for that to happen but i don't have a choice i run other comps but this is the one that works at this point this should be team five honestly because this is the only team that you know one of the nikkeis goes down so yeah we managed to pass the hardest phase with losing ludmila though <laughs> so right now as always we need to destroy one of the rifles to make sure that to lessen the damage basically because he will attack the one with the highest attack right now, which is Horan, because she's the most invested. So for Horan to survive and always survive, we have to destroy one of the rifles ASAP. And now that one of the rifles is destroyed, there's no way that Whitesmith can basically take out Horan because of the increased HP from Summer Helm and of course her healing. So we're basically chilling. Right now we just need to destroy Rifle R. We still have time for it and goal for this team is to reach 300 million it's consistent like this team consistently hits 300 million so I, I guess you would say that shell for this team is summer mary and ludmila but do you really call that a shell i don't know maybe you can try maybe you can try this comp <laughs> summer mary with ludmila but 100 percent ludmila will always go down now for burst 2 you can go with dollar or s hum doesn't matter as long as you have the cooldown reduction right as long as you have cooldown reduction per team you're good to go so right now we're, we're chilling this is it like we just chill we just wait for the time to run out because you can't do anything ideally you would want to take out one of the containers but this team is not invested enough to be able to take it out and we already lack like the time to take it out so that's fine we're almost at 300 million okay I guess we can go further maybe 320 do we have time that's the question four three two one there you go 320 billion you make me proud thank you <laughs> and there we go that's team four right there with ludmilla going down <laughs> 
Haran actually doing work uh, with one of my previous runs. Haran was able to hit 150 million. So I'm happy with this. And yeah, go ahead, try it out maybe. <laughs> but if you have a better comp for this one, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and go to the next team, which is team three. Let's go, let's get it. All right, team number three. So team number three is very interesting. We're running Noise, Essenes, Scarlet, Sakura, and Rupee. Now you may ask, why Sakura? Well, Whitesmith is actually win code. So Sakura works really well here because of the resistance. And my Sakura's burst is level seven. So she will work wonders here. Now you might say, or basically you want to be to be here because noise increases max HP, right? The reason why I'm not running to be with noise is because I need to be to tank for team two and running them together. Well, noise will basically tank and I won't be able to have like a full team that survives the entire duration of the run. This is about making as many teams as you can that can survive up until the last second to deal the most damage so yeah this is <laughs> this is how it is okay oh i also forgot to mention our cooldown reduction for this team is sakura so she's really perfect here she is also the fire coat so very awesome so let's get right into it all righty team number three let's go so the synergy of this team is really good because of s and e's right s and e's buffs scarlet and noise so that's really good so right now we're just gonna full burst head on right away and just try to destroy rifle l as soon as we can destroy the projectiles right here and for the second wave for the second volley we wait a bit until projectiles goes up before we use our burst this is to maximize sakura's wind resistance right we want that and also for Scarlet to destroy the projectiles right away. So right now he will stun one of the units. It's 100% gonna be noise because, well, because of her taunt. And now we manage to destroy one of the rifles. Now we focus on rifle R. Now, yeah, we just want to destroy the QTEs right away so we can capitalize on the Sakura's wind resistance. So look at her damage. Look at his damage on noise. He doesn't deal damage on noise. <laughs> Sakura, like you can run Sakura with burst level four and you should be fine because burst level seven is overkill. If you can see that <laughs> Whitesmith was not able to deal damage to noise because of the wind resistance, which is super crazy. So right now rifles will respawn, but we're just dealing as much damage as we can on the container R because we want to destroy that right after destroying the rifles. Also, right now, we no longer have the wind resistance, so we have to destroy Rifle R ASAP for Noise to survive, basically. Do you see that damage? That almost took Noise out. <laughs> so we need to take out Rifle R ASAP. And then after destroying that, we move to Rifle L. So yeah, right now we a bit chill because 100% Noise will always be able to destroy that. And as you can see, we need to destroy the uh, light color orbs because they deal quite a bit on your HP and well, it's dangerous for both Noise and Scarlet because the heals is not that much. But we chill now, we managed to destroy the rifles and now we're just gonna want to destroy container R at the same time destroying the light colored orbs so, you know, we don't lose Scarlet because <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> we can't lose this Scarlet here. So yeah, that will be the thing. We have to destroy this using Sakura. Very chill. Take it out and then take out this thing right here. Container R should be gone any moment now. There you go. And now we chill because, you know, we, <laughs> we just hit the core. We don't have time to destroy the container L. We don't have enough damage. We don't have enough time. So that's fine. Look at... <laughs> Look at Scarlet's HP, dude. This is so dangerous. But we're good, we're good. Because the next burst is gonna be noise heal. As long as we don't get hit by the orbs, we're fine. We should be fine. And there you go. 700 million. 742 to be exact. 
Now we're gonna check the damage and boom. So Scarlet is doing work alongside SNEs. Of course, this is not the best performance for SNEs because you want Privity to be here, but no slot, no slot. And as you can see, Noise dealt a lot of damage. That's because of the SNEs buffs. So crazy good. This team is really nice. So again, the shell is Noise and Sakura. Basically, you just want a taunt character with Sakura and it will work. And there you go. Let's go ahead and check Team 2. Team 2 is where 2B is. So let's get right into it. So for Team 2, I know you can see Nihilister here. Yeah, I'm running Nihilister here. Also core here is Dorothy, 2B, and Privity. Because Dorothy and Privity synergy is really good. You get a lot of cooldown reduction. And you get extra damage to parts or increased damage to parts. Activate it more frequently because Dorothy's ammunition is being cut into half. So really good synergy right there. Now for Burst 2, if you don't have Nihilister, you can run Mass. Because Mass has a really good synergy with 2B. She increases 2B's HP by a lot, but I'm running Nihilister because in general with this solo raid, Nihilister is so much better. She can deal a lot of damage to projectiles, basically eliminating the projectiles easily and she also deals a lot of damage. And so with that said, let's begin. Alright, team number 2. Let's go. So for this team, the tank is definitely in 100% 2B because also she has like the highest attack on this team. So 100% she will always be the target. So on the first phase, as always, this phase is like the hardest one. You need to like, we need to be worried about this one. Look at that. Almost took out 2B, but that's fine. Right now, we need to like be worried. We need to take cover for the next two shots of the rifles. So we can tank one and then we take cover for the next two attacks. So one, two, just like that. So ideally for the next burst, we should be using Rapunzel's burst to gain a massive heal. But right now, I don't think we need to because we still have time. So we're just going to drag it out a bit and just going to use Dorothy's burst right here. And we will gain enough health to actually survive. So only one rifle. I don't think one rifle is enough to take out 2B anyway. So right now, we're just going to wait for the next burst. We're going to take cover on one of the shots. Bop 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 right that and use Rapunzel's first heal and there you go we survived <laughs> kind of risky I know but it's you know calculated easy <laughs> so we take this rifle right here ASAP and do as much damage as we can on the container R while waiting for the respawn of the rifles and take out rifle R ASAP so as you can see Tubi is just really good like she is just so really good even though she's not fully invested yet she can tank so well because of her big HP not to mention she can deal a lot of damage so yeah we're gonna chill here because after this one we'll be able to take out this rifle right here and once Whitesmith is down to like one rifle he won't be able to take out 2B so we're chilling so we just continue what we need to do we have to take out this rifle right here rifle L as soon as we can so we can take out one of the containers so we'll just keep doing that and as you can see it's so good like she's maintaining she is like always on low hp but you know the total hp is just so massive at this point that you know <laughs> she doesn't go down and now that rifle l is taken out well we're just chilling right now all we have to do is destroy container r and that's it because we don't have enough damage to actually take out container l but destroying container R is more than enough. Like destroying one of the containers is more than enough. It adds a lot of final damage like on the final score. So very worth it. Also, yeah, Nihilister is just so good in this one because of the mere fact that she can take out projectiles really easily. She basically is like a mini rocket launcher at this point. Yeah, she's just so good on this solo wave she is just so good and we are almost there we just have to make sure that we take this out before time runs out four three and we chill there you go and just like that oh my gosh that's almost 800 million okay that is actually an improvement so let's check out the damage chart let's see here and as you can see Nihilister did a lot of damage. So if you have Nihilister, just keep using her on this Solar Raid because she brings in like a lot for this Solar Raid. She takes out projectiles really easily and deals a lot of damage without even investment, without gear upgrade. So very good, very good. 
And that's it for team two. We're now gonna go to team one where our star of this solar raid is, which is A2. A2, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, team one, my favorite team for this solar raid, just because of how good and how easy it is using A2 with the bunnies because, well, the synergy is really good. A2 with the bunnies basically keeps A2's HP, you know, really up there. Like every second, like the sustain is just really good. So here we're running bunnies, A2, litter, and power. So power is here to be the tank, basically. Power is gonna be the target because, well, she's more invested than A2 and because of her attack percent buffs, she will always have higher attack than A2. 25% increase on attack. This is also my main team when it comes to this solar raid. Like this is the team that deals the most damage. So without further ado, let's get right into it, bro. Let the slappy Reno begin. All right, team one. So no comment, like no tutorial on this one. The only tutorial that I could teach you on this one is just let A2 use her burst. That's it. Like let A2 use her burst first as soon as possible because this team allows A2 to have her burst activated for the entire fight and well uh, we don't really strategize on this one all we have to do is freaking slap white smith this is revenge bro this team is made for revenge like my team one is just out here to freaking slap white smith no strategy whatsoever just a slapping just pure slapping like look at this what is this man gonna do huh what is white smith gonna do to me what is white smith gonna do on this team like this team is just so strong look at how a2 is freaking pummeling this young fella right here like no strats bro this is the slap reno white smith welcome to this slap reno what's up bro what's up what you gonna do <laughs> this is just so good like look at how good a2 is on this solar raid like I, she will be strong on any solar raid, any union raid, just because of how crazy her range is. Like every time she enters berserker mode, her radius, bro, her radius just hits everything on the screen. Like it's crazy. Like any parts that is that you can see on the screen, she can hit it. Like it's just insane. Like this team is just so good. And as you can see, right here on the last rifle, we're just gonna ignore that because, well. He doesn't have enough damage to take out power and that rifle right there is just gonna go down without us even touching it like we're just chilling bro like it's it's just gonna automatically go down just because of a2 once a2 enters berserker mode again and increased her radius you know it's gonna go down okay they automatically targeted it so <laughs> that's fine look at my cursor i'm not even doing anything bro like, we're just chilling what's up how are you today <laughs> so regarding this team like you can always use a different like dps right it's gonna be a2 and a different b3 you can run scarlet you can run modernia you can run any other burst three alongside a2 on this one like you can run alice but i don't have her so yeah i don't have alice and modernia so yeah <laughs> it is what it is so right now we're just looking at a2 look at her look at her damage because you know we're just waiting we're just chilling so the goal is 1.1 billion and she can definitely we can definitely hit that like easy no cap <laughs> we're just fishing for crits look at that look at those big numbers bro this is not a fully invested A2. Just three overloaded gears. Again, no upgrades yet. And there we go. 1.1 billion easy. And we're gonna take a look at the damage chart and there it is. Insane damage by A2. And that's this lap Reno right there. So <laughs> there you go. That's basically it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, I hope that this video, this guide right here, help you out. I hope that you learned something. And I hope that it helps you out in increasing your overall damage during this Sol Raid. We still have a few days for that. So, please do try it out and let me know down in the comments below what's your suggestion and what you learned on this one. Let me know, please. Thank you. And as always, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Help me out reach 2K subscribers. Please, thank you. I appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now. Janet.